Hi Leo, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for the end of September or whenever you click into the video. So <clears throat> we're gonna do your current energy, the near future, and what Spirit wants you to focus on. It is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out your other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So I'm gonna lay out the spread, and once we do that one, we will get into your person's energy and then your energy and see what's going on. So I just wanna say a huge, huge thank you to everyone who's returning. And if you are new here, welcome. I do do personal readings. That information's in the description box if you're interested. All right, so let's see what's going on. I kept hearing that you're gonna get good news. I saw the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck as I was shuffling, and then I saw the Empress card. So male or female, it, it feels like there's a sense of I'm getting to a place of feeling like myself again. For some of you, you could have started to experience that a little bit ago, and some of you are just getting into that energy of, okay, I can take a deep breath, things are starting to move forward, or changes are happening. I just feel like your energy is shifting, and something's gonna come about that's gonna help you feel better. We'll see, and then the Ten of Pentacles just flipped out, so some good news is coming to you guys. It could be around your finances for sure. If you are someone who likes to gamble, and I've said this to you guys before, I don't know why it comes up for Leos a lot. I think it's just your energy. Um, play the lotto. You just never know. It could be one of those things where you pick up a scratcher card and all of a sudden it pays you an extra thousand dollars. And then the seven of swords keeps popping up as well. So just be cautious of the people around you who always like to come into your energy or to be in your space when they know that you're doing well, but they tend to be the ones who also disappear if things get tough. So just be cautious of those energies this particular, you know, the next couple of weeks. All right, so let's see what's going on. Ten of Pentacles, and then we have the Page of Swords and the High Priestess. Yeah, that's you being cautious for of people who tend to lie. Uh, the Page of Swords in reverse tells me that there's someone who's in the background that might take advantage or have a tendency to tell you fibs in order to try to woo you, um, woo money out of you, or just, I feel like they take. So just pay attention to your intuition. We'll go over that a little bit more thoroughly. Let's look at the near future. So the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Cups. And then we have the Lovers in reverse. So what Spirit wants you to focus on is the Hierophant in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Wands in reverse. The overall energy is the Emperor. That's interesting. So there's a perfect match there. If you have recently met somebody that you finally feel is your match or your Emperor, your Empress, something's coming about up about that. I feel like there's a true connection. It doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic one. You could have just recently met somebody who's of the opposite sex or even the same sex, just somebody has a little bit more masculine energy. And that person seems to be really supportive, maybe very spiritual, and is kind of help, helping either guide you on your spiritual journey or could just be somebody who's supportive of it and understands it. All right, so let's look at the current energy. So the Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Swords in reverse, and the High Priestess. Trust your intuition when it comes to your money. Like I said, if you feel the need to go gamble or you just feel the need to invest suddenly into something that feels really right make sure it feels really right in your gut so check in with yourself first before you do that but with the page of swords in the middle it's just like i said before you've got to be cautious of people who have a tendency to come in and take advantage of your good fortunes it doesn't have to be about money it could just be that they see you're in a good place and they tend to suck your energy or they have a tendency to be a little bit of a fibber and seem to need help all the time again pay attention to your intuition all right so we'll get clarifiers for that as well now in the near future we have the king of pentacles in reverse with the eight of cups and the lovers in reverse this is an energy i've talked about this with you guys over the last probably six months since i actually started steadily on the channel there was a lot of you that were going through breakups and it feels like there's still a sense of walking away from some of that emotional tension, that emotional baggage. Doesn't have to be that specific situation. You could just be still in the energy of releasing anything that has to do with love relationships, whether it be toxic emotional 
overwhelm feelings, thought processes, things like that. The King of Pentacles to me says there was somebody that was either holding back, they could have withheld money. That would be for those of you that were married and had a partner that was financially in control. That's not gonna be for all of you. There could also be a sense of you're finally walking away from a feeling of being unstable financially um, and what helped was getting out of a bad relationship. All right, so we will clarify that as well. So the Hierophant in reverse, yes, that is the dissolution of a marriage, a high-level relationship, or spirits kind of indicating that there's a need for more faith. With the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands, again, I'm sensing that energy of somebody who seems to be still kind of lingering in your energy. So that's someone who tends to draw on your stability or tries to draw your energy away from you. I just said there's a couple people around you you need to be aware of. So be cautious because this person doesn't really have the ability to connect as far as the spirituality is concerned. So they may throw you off, but you stand strong in the middle. So I'm not too concerned. I just think I want to keep giving you this warning of be cautious. Now, I feel like there's somebody else, and I keep wanting to say this, somebody else that with this emperor comes in and feels like a supportive energy. Now that could be somebody who's a higher up at work, who is always there to support you and always admires like your independence and your ability to stay strong no matter what's going on in your circumstances. They may know a little bit about your personal life. Maybe you just feel like you connect with that person and they see you for who you are. And that's enough to kind of keep you pushing through even when things are tough. Yeah, I, I feel like this person definitely offers you support. So just keep an eye out for that because that person does genuinely care. Now, you also have that energy of somebody that I feel like you just need to be cautious of. But you seem stable. So I'm not terribly concerned about it. I just think it's a sense of someone who doesn't have the same kind of faith as you all right let's look at the ten of pentacles with the page of swords in reverse all right, this is for leo all right so we have the death card in reverse you could have been dealing with a scorpio now this person does not feel like they've gone through any kind of a transformation. It could feel like you're kind of stuck and you're still waiting for things to complete, cycles to close out, energy like that. But it doesn't feel really negative. It feels like you're actually moving your way, moving your way away, moving yourself away from anything that isn't stable, that hasn't gone through shifts and changes. And if you already have, then of course, you're not going to connect on that level anymore with somebody who doesn't want to work on themselves. All right, so let's see with the High Priestess and the Page of Swords. So we have the, the Seven of Pentacles. Being patient, waiting for things to come about, knowing that um, if you invest in something right now, I feel like if you're patient, it will grow. Whether that be in a job, um, invest yourself into whatever area of your life right now that you feel is going to be successful. It does feel like it's around money. So I'm gonna say it's around work and investments, period. It just feels really good. And they keep saying, just keep trusting what you're doing. Keep trusting your intuition and don't let anything or anyone um, destabilize that or make you question. Hang on guys, sorry. I dropped a couple of cards. All right, so then the Empress comes back out. She's kind of tilted. So I'm going to say there's a sense of going back and forth with feeling like you're getting your grounding, if you will, getting your feet on the ground. And then the star came out. So healing is definitely happening. And there was some vulnerability around this situation as well. But look at that. See, the Ten of Cups tells me that in the end, that whatever toxic energy was there, if there was somebody who um, used you as like a scapegoat, say you had a friendship and this person always blamed you for everything or you had work partnerships or work situations where somebody was always saying, oh, it was their fault or they screwed up. Don't worry about that situation because I feel like there's somebody at work, that emperor person, that's always gonna be behind you and have your back. Um, something that you have been hoping for, I, that news that I said I felt in the beginning, it feels like something good is coming towards you. If you've been dreaming about buying a house 
If you've been dreaming about finding a new location, something of that sort, I feel like that's where that stability is going to come in with the Ten of Cups. Something new is coming in for you. That rainbow tells me that it's going to be, a, and the cups, that it's going to be really emotionally um, stable. I like that. And when I say that, we all need something that helps us feel really good about our security. And homes have a tendency to do that for all of us. So I feel like you're going to find something that's going to make you feel really good. It's going to be very bright. You could like the colors yellow. For some reason, that's popping out. And then, okay, this is a totally random message. For those of you that might be pregnant, if you're watching this or you're interested in having a baby and you're curious about that and this just happened to come up, you're going to have a girl because they're really pointing out the pink in this message. So that could just be for a couple of you. That could be the wish that some of you have of having a child. And I do feel it's a girl. All right. So let's keep going and get to the Hierophant in Reverse with the Queen of Pentacles. So there's that King of Wands that in this deck is my little narcissist. So that energy seems to be around you. And the King of Wands in Reverse in this deck tells me that they're emotionally unavailable. They just don't connect on that level. So if you're still having trouble have, like getting this person out of your energy or out of your space, I feel like no matter what, hold tight because you're always going to come out looking bright and I want to say bright and shiny. You're going to have the stability that you desire. You're going to have the things that you want and need. Masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. You could be dealing with a female narcissist. All right, so let's look at the Queen of Pentacles with the King of Wands. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So I don't want you to fear that anything's going to happen with your money. Your money's fine. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse is just saying be cautious of that person if you have any interaction with them when it comes to your financial well-being or if it's somebody at work that tries to trip you up so let's say you're in sales this could be somebody who tries to interfere with your making your sales or completing things something like that i feel like there's a little bit of inter interference with that person okay so i'm going to clear this energy and we'll get into you and your person that is on your mind specifically. Just know that I feel drawn to the Eight of Cups. After you've released some more of this emotional baggage or the things that have been really burdening you emotionally, the Ten of Pentacles is coming in to say that there's a lot of stability and a lot of really good things. Look out for that message. I feel like somebody's going to reach out and something really good is going to come towards you. All right, so let's look at your person's energy and your energy. This is for Leo. All right, so the person on your mind, we have the Four Pentacles in Reverse, which actually that's really good energy. And then the Hangman, the Nine of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. In your energy, we have the Moon, the Chariot, the Four of Swords, and the four of cups in reverse this is i actually really love this energy you could be dealing with a cancer pisces scorpio have all of those we also have libra gemini aquarius and i feel virgo i'm not feeling as strongly about the other earth signs doesn't mean they're not here all right so the bottom of the deck is the knight of swords in reverse there could be a lack of communication at the time or maybe you just don't have a desire to really force yourself into this situation or speak up right now. I feel like somebody's holding back their truth. Doesn't mean that there's lies and deception, but there could be, maybe there's something that you need to get off your chest. Let's see what your person's feeling. They're very open. I don't feel like they hold back. They're not holding on to anything. Could they be in a position where they feel a little bit stuck? Absolutely. The Nine of Cups tells me that this is how they view you. They view you as a wish fulfillment. They also see that you are masculine or feminine energy, very cut to the point, straight up, like speaking my truth. But at some point, I feel like you've held back or they have held back and not moved towards you. So there could be a lot of back and forth energy. That's what I'm sensing. All right. Now, your energy is the moon. So there could be some fears about what's going to happen in this situation. You could be holding back a little bit and only because they're might be a sense of where is this going or does this person have something to hide 
And then the chariot is all about movement. You could have some traveling coming up and that could be towards your person. Maybe you're thinking about wanting to go and spend some time or they're going to be traveling towards you and you're not sure if you want to spend time with them. Now the four of cups is in reverse. I think there's a part of you that feels like this person can't see what you have to offer or they're ignoring what you have to offer. So I, there's a part of me that feels a little bit of confusion on your part. Not that you don't necessarily want it. I think you're just a little bit in your head about it. Let's see what the Romance Angels have to say for you. This is for Leo. Okay, this card wanted to come out. So you deserve love, of course. And then wedding. This situation involves marriage. And then we have free yourself and worth waiting for. And then we have calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So you could be at a distance from this person and it's difficult to get together. And maybe you're trying to figure out how you're going to work things out. Absolutely, you deserve love. Wedding, the situation involves marriage. <clears throat> could it be that one or the both of you are having to get out of a marriage or finalize something to do with a marriage? That's what I'm sensing. Um, possibly. Could you get married in the future? Sure, some of you. And then we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. What I think that's about is freeing yourself from anything that's going to cause you to either slow down or create the fears that you might have. So releasing the fears is going to help you free yourself and open up to the situation. And it says worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So you may feel like you're not sure if you want to wait for it. If they are at a distance and you have to travel or they have to travel towards you, it may be a little bit frustrating. But... I do feel good about it, so I'm going to say for sure it's worth waiting for. All right, let's look at the possible outcome. Yeah, see, there's that back and forth energy with the devil again coming out. I don't think that's saying that there's toxic energy between the two of you. At times, maybe you feel like one or the both of you could have a sense of codependency. Maybe your partner does. I just think there's a lot of passion between you. And that's what keeps this ignited. All right, let's see what else they have for you for the outcome. The Queen of Swords. So there's something that you need to be clear about that I keep feeling. Like, speak up. I think at times you can be very clear about how you feel, or at least that's how your person views you. But I feel like there's something that you feel you need to say. Masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. Yeah, and that's what's keeping you stuck. So as far as the outcome... I think it's going to be back and forth for the time being. There's definitely a lot of passion. Maybe you just feel like the energy is stuck for now. Doesn't mean it's going to stay that way. That's just the possible outcome for the time being. Okay, now let's get the Lover's Oracle and see what that has to add for you. This is for Leo. All right, this card feels like it's pulling. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So if, if there is something there that are that's involved with that moon, like if there's any resentment, that's what it's saying. If there's fears, resentment, anything that you're holding on to, good to release those if possible. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Yep. And then we have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. 